We're going to move now to Trolley Residential. Uh, this is a Process 5 hearing. Planning Commission makes a recommendation to the City Council. The Trolley Residential Project is a 52-unit affordable um, apartment units. They are located in three multi-story structures with basement parking. The project includes amenities such as play, out, play areas, outdoor seating, creek overlook areas, and a shade structure. The project also includes deviations to building height, parking, and the sign regulations. It's designated as neighborhood village within the southeastern San Diego community plan in the Encanto neighborhoods planning area. And this is an aerial of the site. It's west of Euclid. This is the subject property here. And it's part of the overall Market Creek Plaza development, which is located to the south. And that's developed with uh, the Jacob Center, surface parking areas, a food for less, and some retail establishments in this location. The project includes two residential buildings. The first is outlined here in green, and the second is below here in yellow. There's a uh, community building within the interior of the site, and these structures are connected by interior walkways or breezeways. A few um, renderings. This network of 39 teams have created this really great concept of a really vibrant district. Um, we now are looking at about 50 acres with 1,000 homes over time. This is the very first piece of that, um, which we're excited about today. Um, we've been able to attract the first 600 jobs or more, and um, overall we're, we are hoping to attract about 2,000 of those with integrated services. We feel like we're ready to move to the next piece. Um, that's just a quick visual on the scope and scale of what will become a whole transit-oriented um, mixed-use village um, that's focused around the transit hub. The top one is the one that's on the docket today, the trolley residential. It's the pilot launch. It's the one that will um, get us moving on the larger um, housing agenda. And as you know, our community is really desperate in terms of substandard housing and overcrowding of housing. We've also had to, to take some housing out, which we're very anxious to replace. Lynetta Wilkes. I'm here to uh, represent the uh, Trolley Residential um, Planning Team. I've been working with this uh, project from the conception and I think it's going to be a plus for our community as well as for the um, transportation. I think it would be a, a great uh, improvement as far as uh, traffic and as well as um, affordable housing, which is well needed in that community. And I've been working with it and um, looking forward to seeing it in its completion. And I'd like to thank you. I come here as, a, I'll get, as, as Lynetta did, as a resident involved in this trolley residential since it, it began, which is about five years ago. We came together under the uh, uh, City of Villages pilot. We uh, worked in partnership with them. And then we've started getting into the particulars, you know, on this, and this was our first one in which we brought the residents in to uh, get the idea of acceptance of community smart growth. We also got the community involvement in creation and design of the units. We actually set up in the Jacobs Center that they had um, in the, on the federal building, we actually set up the size of the room so people would be comfortable to see what size and shape the, the smaller units are, but a way to be able then to say, well, we need to have this kind of way of opening it up. So we actually, you know, getting into really creating um, the design of the units at Trolley Residential. And the other thing that we've learned in this whole process is their ability to stand up at every level of the approval process and speak to us. We are all residents. Uh, my job is I work for solar turbines. I took a vacation day because for me it's very important to, for you to know how deep this residential involvement is and that we've dedicated our time for many years trying to get to the point of one, understanding what housing, affordable housing, workforce, and uh, uh, Housing, since I work at solar turbines, I know how far the guys that I work with have to drive and how much expensive it is and how important it is, particularly along the trolley line, the whole idea of having trans, uh, transit accessibility. And the big thing on affordability, our medium income is 39000 versus the county, which is 60000 
So it really is. We need to have that affordability. We don't need to take it all for the whole city, but we, need to, we are willing to take our fair share. So I see within what this project, what we're doing is an effort to revitalize our community in the direction that the residents want. Thank you very much. Well, I've followed the Market Creek Plaza for many years, and it is uh, incredibly laudable, the work that the Jacobs Center is doing with that community. Um, and the model that you set, set for the rest of the country um, to do these kinds of projects, it's, it's uh, truly um, exciting. So thank you very much for the work that you do. I personally am very happy you know, with the results each time <coughs> that you come before us uh, with that community. And you also have total community involvement in your planning process and I really appreciate that and you see that uh, with the presentations that you make to us each and every time that you have a project before us and um, I was able to grow up in that neighborhood in the 50s so I know the history you know of that neighborhood and where it's been uh, and where it's going and where it is today and I'm really very comfortable in regards to the planning process and the commitment that all of you, uh, including the, the staff here and the community and uh, Jacobs, because you see the results of how partnerships develop into a very successful project that continues you know, in an area that richly deserves it, <clears throat> and they really appreciate it. I'm sure you see that each and every day. But I, I thank you, and uh, we really appreciate the good work that you're doing in that area and continue to do it. Oh, it's just refreshing to see a project like this. I mean, it is a model project, but you continue to take the opportunity to do a model project right, and that's not always the case. A lot of these are set up in this fashion. They fall apart. They drift off the path. You guys have set the path, and you're holding right to it. It's just refreshing to see affordable housing done with sustainable features, the transit-oriented features. It's just it's wonderful to see it, and that's the reason we felt, I guess, slighted to do it on consent. So you could have had your day back is the, the uh, good news. The bad news is we made you wait all morning to hear all these accolades. So uh, I guess with that, it would be a great pleasure of mine to move motion to approve staff's recommendation for this project. And I will second it. Okay, we got a motion by Commissioner Golba, second by Commissioner Atsuji. Um, you know, I would feel kind of like I was left out if I didn't actually <laughs> jump in here. I mean, <clears throat> as somebody who does a lot of affordable housing myself as a designer and uh, somebody here who sits as the chair of this body and recognizes and looks at uh, how things are done in this city and how they're often not done as good as they could, it's really refreshing to see it come together as, as, uh, as well as it does here and the way you guys go about doing your business is really quite extraordinary. And I know these deals are not easy to do, I know there are there are challenges, uh, the challenges every step of the way, and I get that. Um, but the fact is that you have a process that you've committed yourself to that is engaged, is is uh, sincere, and um, and I think that that obviously has worked to your credibility within the neighborhood. <coughs> I mean, they believe you, you delivered. Uh, it's really quite extraordinary. Um, so, uh, not to pile on here, but. I, I really wish we had more opportunities to sort of see these kinds of things come forward, and, and it really is, a, really is a great, great project, and it's one that we'll we'll turn to and recommend to others. You know, maybe you ought to go down check that one out when we talk about what's what's not so good about maybe something that they're doing. So I think with that we're gonna vote yes. Okay, that passes five to zero with Commissioners Griswold and Antai absent.